talking over with Martin T. Rucker, and he was a player that rarely, and I mean rarely ever dropped anything. I guarantee you he's not going to drop what he's holding right here. T, welcome back. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate it. This is a blast to be here. Great to talk to you, too. 2007 reunion. Got a chance to see the guys. When you guys got back together last night, what did you talk about? Well, I didn't make it in last night, but I made it in today, and it's so funny because uh, I didn't get to see hardly any of the first half of the game because we were just talking about stuff, and it was so great to see how many guys came back. We talked about Chase Daniel and his lovely wife had their first baby. Oh, yeah. I know you're talking to Chase Cobb, and he's had a couple of children. Yeah. You know, how, much, how special is it being a dad? It's so awesome, and it's really awesome to see all these guys that I played with becoming dads and becoming responsible fathers and seeing the, the lessons that Gary taught us on the football field play into real life and see how these guys are accountable and responsible to their families and providers and married great girls and just how awesome it is that life is just coming around in that circle. It's really cool. You know, Tia, and what's so great about that, and you mentioned Gary, talking about Coach Gary Pickle and Gary Lincoln, guys that have been around here for a long time. But when our players, they see guys like you and they see Chase and they see Chase come back and you deliver that message, it really kind of rings home to them. And that's good. You know, it needs to because this is just a blip on the radar. You know, and it, <laughs> I even played five years in the NFL, and right. I'm only 32 years old now and retired. I got a lot of life left to live, hopefully. So, you know, there's a lot of lessons that you learn here that if you'll retain them, they'll serve you very, very well later on in life. Well, that's an excellent point. And, and we talked to a lot of athletes that don't play football or basketball. There's life after sports. Even if you play in the NFL and you come to Missouri, you get your degree, that's something you can always fall back on. Absolutely. That is priceless. You know, and I tell people the one thing you have to do while you're here is get your degree. You can worry about playing time, and you can be upset about it all you want, but make sure you do not leave here without that piece of paper. Final question, that year 2007, very special year for the University of Missouri, very special year for you. When did you know it was gonna be special? I think in the summer. You know, we had worked really hard, and we had a lot of guys who had lived through the ups and the downs of 04 and 06. And so we knew what it took, and we knew how to get there. And we finally had started getting athletes like Jeremy Macklin and Denario Alexander to come alongside a lot of these blue-collar, hard-working guys. And we knew we were going to put it all together that year. And that was the year that you can really feel we were better than the teams we were playing against. That's T. Rucker, and he was one of the all-time best. Get that little girl out of the sun. See you, buddy.